Hello, everybody. My name is Petra Gidak. Uh, I'm from the Faculty of Civil Engineering, University of Zagreb in Croatia. I'm going to present a paper, paper titled Learning by Building Physical versus Numerical Form Finding. Um, so, in our undergraduate study in the Faculty of Civil Engineering, we have a course named Static Analysis Second. And students have an opportunity for many numbers, uh, many uh, years from now, um, to learn about uh, the design process of uh, lightweight tensor structure. But um, before the year 2020, we um, teach our students this um, basically theoretically, not I mean not by any practical uh practice like uh, um, <clears throat> that we use for other things in our uh, course but then we notice that uh, they uh, have trouble with this part of the course and uh, this is very hard and abstract for them so we found an exploration in Fryoto and the physical model of Fryot models of Fryoto and we decided to teach this um, uh, subject uh, by firstly building a numerical, uh, sorry, a physical model of the tensile uh, structure. So um, we also now believe, strongly believe that physical model should not be disregarded from the uh, form finding process because it serves not only as a good visualization of the complex geometry. Uh, equilibrium geometry, but helps engineering in understanding the nature of the bearing principle of tensor structure. This is a picture shown here uh, that our group of students, Jelena Vukadin, Dominik Vitovic, and Josip Lutz, use as, as an inspiration for their uh, physical models. So every, um, every group of students, and they were a group of four, four or five students, um, needed to find some inspiration like a picture of tensile structure and then in our class they are going they were going they, they are they were building this uh, structure that they have chosen as an inspiration um <clears throat> so this is our class in the january 2012 20 so before corona we have managed to do, do this uh, um, class. Uh, now we have one year, uh, we, we did not do it with students uh, from the last year, uh, but now we are hoping to do it again. <laughs> so, as I said, there were groups of students uh, because you cannot build it by your, uh, your using just two hands, you have to do it with multiple pair of hands. Um, and uh, every they had about four hours to do it uh, in so two days, two uh, two hours in one day, two hours in the second day of the this workshop. You can call it like this. And every group were was uh, were successful. Every group was successful. So because of the very nice success of the workshop uh, of the class. Uh, we arranged an uh, exhibition in the Hall of the Faculty of Civil Engineering and also we had a very good response for, from the teachers uh, at the faculty, not only of civil engineering, but also because we share a building with the architectural faculty, they were very interested in, in uh, what we have uh, done here. And also we have chosen a winning model um, here marked on the picture. Uh, this was chosen by the most of the teachers at the, our department, Department of Technical Mechan Mechanics. Um, and now the students that have built it are uh, co-authors of this uh, uh, paper. And uh, this is the material that we use. It's a very simple thing. Um, and uh, the, um, the, the basic thing is to have a good fabric. So we have chosen the fabric 
um, that is very elastic and it's uh, models uh, of, from this fabric are not member structures, no, but they are not also uh, uh, cable nest structures because the fabric, you can see the threads in the uh, in the fabric, uh, but the spacing between the, the holes between the threads are very small. But the fabric is very elastic and it allows us to build a model without uh, cutting pattern. So this is the main reason that we have chosen this fabric for the models. And um, this is a workflow. I'm not the part of the work workflow here. <laughs> so uh, main steps are shown here. First, it's very crucial to draw um, position of anchor points, lower and high anchor points at the uh, ground. Um, uh, carbon and um, then you uh, so this uh, fixed the foundation um, so that are similar uh, fixed so the uh, columns uh, at the foundation and also um, afterwards fabric needs to be spread out in uh, in the ground and um, pinned down with in the anchor anchor points. And afterwards, uh, uh, high anchor points are then um, uh, are uh, pulling the fabric from the from the ground to the uh, to form then a smooth surface. And this is the basic uh, thing that we uh, used to get this uh, equilibrium shape or the smooth surface. And this part here, pulling the fabric to the high anchor point, is an iterative process because you have to adjust the high anchor points in order to get a smooth surface. And also, uh, smooth, smoothness can be affected uh, from changing, slightly changing the positions of the lower anchor point. And here, our students notice that, um, that the curvature is. Uh, much better and uh, higher if they um, uh, have one additional here uh, high anchor point that was uh, secured with a cable to the pillars. And afterwards, after you get a smooth surface, you can clearly see the wrinkles in the fabric uh, and then you mark it with curves and afterwards you cut the extra fabrics uh, on, with, uh, on the position that you mark. Um, and after this building, uh, after building the physical model, students were um, introduced to numerical form finding and we used the um, uh, um, force density method and the iterative application of the force density method to find the equilibrium shape of the tension structure, cable wave structure. And uh, because uh, we used our own uh, programming code uh, in SageMath um, that needed an input uh, data of the coordinates of the anchors and the topology of the network and the uh, for, uh, force density of the elements. And maybe if you, if, uh, you use uh, iterative application for this method, then you need to input uh, uh, want uh, constraints, or, or meaning the wanted force or the wanted length or some chosen elements. Um, and it, that's why we use uh, Rhino, Seros, and Grasshopper script in order to um, be more efficient in manipulation of this input data. Uh, so here you, we can, we, I have shown. Uh, uh, we moved our points from the anchor, high anchor points from the ground to the wanted position. And then you have to connect this new position of the anchor points with uh, the structure, so with the cables to the structures. And that this is also done in Grasshopper. And also here, uh, we, uh, you can choose, choose uh, elements that are going to have uh, different uh, Force densities, or that are going to have uh, additional constraints. Um, and 
Then, by having this input data, we, uh, we put them in our uh, Python code uh, in SageMath. And we have chosen this specific workflow because we, uh, we wanted students to be aware of arguments that they are assigning and the function, the method they are using for the form finding process instead of just using a black box components. So afterwards also uh, the equilibrium uh, shape was then also returned to the grasshopper for better visualization. But um, we, after this, they uh, saw this process, uh, we have introduced them to Falcon. This is our own plugin uh, for form finding of tensile structure, tensile structure uh, that is available here at this, uh, at this link. And uh, it's, uh, every, it's a form finding, uh, process, form finding tool um, in Grasshopper. <coughs> And this is just a for visual, a visual uh, comparison of the numerical and physical model. We can uh, easily see where the um, physical model has a problem. It's here under this high anchor, a uh, high, high ring. Uh, fabric here is slightly crisp, and this uh, uh, needs to be. Uh, if if we move this anchor lower anchor points away from the a ring as is done here, then uh, the surface will be um, smooth. And for the conclusion, a student said that this process of building a physical model has worked on an engineer in them, and and we noticed that they uh, this triggered an interest in this uh, imposing structures, and they wanted to be involved in uh, some projects that we have. Done, uh, we're, we're doing then uh, away from the classroom, and um, also uh, in this digital age, we believe that the learning by hand is particularly important, uh, not only for young people, meaning in kindergarten, but also for students. And also, um, uh, we notice that by when uh, students uh, build a physical model, then uh, handling the numerical model and understanding everything uh, and uh, understanding the form finding method was uh, far easier for the students. So, thank you.